Hi, I'm here today with Dan. We're going to be treating his right shoulder with some bone marrow stem cells. Dan has some arthritis in his uh, right shoulder as well as some rotator cuff tears and we're going to be using his bone marrow stem cells from his own pelvis to try to heal that and give him some range of motion and some pain relief. All right, today I'm going to show you how I perform a bone marrow aspiration from the pelvis and then later we'll show you how we're going to do the bone marrow stem cell injection into the shoulder. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify the harvest site which is his PSIS, it's part of his pelvis. That's the area that has the most concentration of the bone marrow stem cells. I'm also going to identify an entry for point for the caudal epidural. We're going to give him an epidural to make sure that the procedure is not painful. The epidural, what it does, it numbs up the nerves to the pelvis, therefore makes the procedure more tolerable. So I'm going to clean the area with some chloroprep. This is a solution that's used for surgeries and other invasive procedures. And what it does, it really cleans the area from any bacteria or any other contaminants. Right now, I'm going to anesthetize his pelvic area before the procedure. Basically, I'm using some lidocaine and some ropivacaine to numb up the injection site. Okay. We're inserting the trocar into his posterior pelvis, and that's going to allow us to draw the bone marrow. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. okay? Now that the trocar is in, I'm able to pull out the bone marrow, and you can see it flowing into the syringe. Pretty nice and smooth. We're going to rotate a little bit and pull out some more. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. A little bit of pressure, right? Yeah. One more. We're almost there. So we are done with the bone marrow aspiration. His site is cleaned up and is closed up. Now we took the bone marrow and we are taking it to our lab. We're going to concentrate it and next we're going to inject it into his shoulder. All right, now that we have his bone marrow stem cells and his platelet-rich plasma, we're going to go ahead and get ready for the procedure. I'm going to identify all my landmarks with the ultrasound. We're going to mark him, we're going to clean it, we're going to numb it up, and then we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to numb up some of the injection sites and get ready for the procedure. So I'm doing a nerve block right now that will help to numb up the joint and the injection area, which will make the procedure less uncomfortable. So this is our product that we created from the bone marrow aspirate. It's bone marrow concentrate, which has the stem cells along with some platelet-rich plasma. We mix it, we're gonna use this to inject into his rotary cuff tears. And then we have another syringe full that we're gonna to use to inject into his joint. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and inject the PRP and the stem cells into his tears. You can actually see the plasma spreading into his tendon. And it should be pretty numb, so it shouldn't be too painful. You can see my needle inside that tendon. Doing okay? Yeah. So now I'm going to go ahead and inject into that anterior superior labrum. There might be a little bit more pressure there. Perfect. So now we're doing the shoulder joint injection. That's where most of the stem cells are going to go in and treat some of the arthritic pain here. Right now, you can see the needle going into the joint. There it is, on, snuck underneath the labrum. And now you can see the fluid spreading inside the joint capsule. You can actually see the capsule growing back there. So we are done with the injections. I've injected the bone marrow stem cells into his shoulder joint. I've also injected it into the rotator cuff tears. Now he's going to go home and heal from the procedure. And we're going to see him back in about four weeks. And we'll see how he does. All right, please make sure to like this video and like us on Facebook. And if you have any other questions, please visit our website, which is on the bottom of this screen, to find out more about bone marrow stem cells or any other procedures that we perform.